In this video, we will demonstrate how to wire the simulation kit to various controllers, like the wired remote controller, the touch centralized controller and the DMS 2.5 controller. First, we will connect the wired remote controller. In order to do so we will we need some tools and supplies. A cross screwdriver and a communication cable with four connectors at both ends. The wired remote controller is connected to indoor unit through F3 F4 communication. Be sure to turn off power then, wire F3 F4 of indoor unit to F3 F4 of wired remote controller. The F3 F4 block is located on the back of the wired remote controller. New wired remote controllers receive both power from the indoor unit and communication through the F3 F4 terminals. So you do not need to connect the power cable. Turn the power on to the simulation kit. The wired remote controller will power it up, and start tracking the indoor units that are connected with it. The wired remote controller should display the quantity of indoor units, in this example 3. Then the wired remote controller will display the initial page. Now you can program the wired remote controller. Second, we will wire the touch centralized controller. In order to do wiring, we will need some tools and supplies. A cross screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, electrical tape, communication cable and a power cord. The touch centralized controller should be connected to the outdoor unit through R1 R2 communication terminals. It could also be connected to indoor unit through F1 F2 communication terminals. In this video, we will demonstrate wiring through F1 F2 communication. First, turn power off to simulation kit, then, wire F1 F2 of indoor unit to F1 F2 of touch centralized controller. The F1 F2 block of the touch centralized controller is located on the back. The touch centralized controller should be connected with a dedicated power supply. The power block is located in back of the controller. Connect the wiring from the power cord to the power block. After wiring the power cord, you must cover the power block with electrical tape to prevent electric shock. Power up the simulation kit and touch centralized controller. Then, touch centralized controller will display the initial settings screen of language selection. After making this selection, you can program the touch centralized controller. Last, we will wire the DMS 2.5. In order to wire the DMS 2.5, we need some tools and supplies. A cross screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a communication cable, a PC, a LAN cable and a power cord. A power cord is included in DMS 2.5 package. The DMS 2.5 should be connected to outdoor unit through R1 R2 communication. Turn off power to the simulation kit. Then, wire the communication cable to the R1 R2 of outdoor unit and R1 R2 of DMS 2.5. The R1 R2 block of DMS 2.5 is located in front of the controller on the lower right hand side. Connect the power cord and LAN cable in the proper places in the front of the DMS 2.5. The LAN cable should also be connected to the PC.
Turn the power on for the simulation kit and DMS 2.5. The DMS 2.5 will load the OS and application. After these steps, you can access the DMS 2.5. To access the DMS 2.5, you need to change your computer's IP address. In order to set the IP address use the following steps. In this window, if the DMS 2.5 IP is 192.168.0.100, you should change the PC IP to 192.168.0.xxx. The XXX in the last octet can equal anything other than 100. In this example the last octet cannot be 100 as it would overlap with the DMS 2.5. Open Internet Explorer and input the DMS 2.5 IP in the address bar. It is the important to add S after the HTTP. If it will display HTTP, an error will occur. The first time you access the DMS 2.5, a security certificate warning message will appear. You can use disregard this message and access the DMS 2.5. However if the certificate is not registered, this message will appear every time it is accessed. If you want to skip adding the certificate, click here. Finally, the login page is displayed, allowing you to access the DMS 2.5. Samsung hopes that you enjoyed using this simulation kit. It is suggested to practice multiple times so that you feel comfortable wiring and configuring Samsung controllers.